oil tanker is eastbound in the Singapore Strait. The weather is good. The engine is running well and the traffic is normal for the area. The master has requested sign-off on an emergency basis. The officers are therefore preparing for the change. All the senior officers are very experienced and the atmosphere on board is good. The rendezvous position with the crew launch is planned to take place well past the Batu Bahanti buoy. After a number of flight delays, the joining crew arrives in Singapore a day behind schedule and is taken straight to the crew launch, then heading for the oil tanker. To save time, the master is requested to let the rendezvous take place closer to shore. He's not very comfortable with this proposal, but is told by the agent that the new position has been used for a rendezvous several times before. The master decides to agree and not pursue the matter any further. When drifting in the new position, the engine crew informs the bridge that there is a hydraulic oil leak from the steering gear system. They ask the bridge for permission to change a pipe on steering pump number two. They expect this to take about 20 minutes. Permission is granted by the off-signing master and the pump is stopped. The on-signers, including master and chief officer, finally arrive on board the tanker. And on the bridge, the handover between masters and senior officers starts. The on-signing master receives information regarding the voyage, but nothing is mentioned of the permission to repair the steering pump. As the on-signing chief officer arrives on the bridge, he and his off-signing colleague are discussing cargo operations and spare parts. But no proper handover of the watch is emphasized. The guy in the crew launch is getting impatient as he wants to get back to prepare for the next assignment. He keeps calling on the VHF, hassling that the off-signing crew must speed up. The on-signing master is now busy talking with the technical superintendent, who, supposing that the crew change is completed, has been calling from ashore regarding the steering gear spare parts. The master is stressed by the constant hassling from the crew launch. And he gets angry and shouts back, commanding him to shut up. The new master is getting an overview of the vessel's position. Shortly afterwards, the change of command on the bridge is completed. The master orders full ahead. His intention is to pass north of the well-known Batu Bahanti boy. In the engine room, the third engineer is occupied with the steering pump pipe and wonders why they're now heading at full speed. He signals that the bridge will have to wait until the work task has been completed. The chief engineer replies that the bridge is well informed about the pump operation and that they must surely know what they're doing. There is crossing traffic in the strait. Due to this, the course is altered to starboard and the speed is also reduced. During this maneuvering, the chief officer notices that only steering motor number three is running. He therefore tries to start motor number two, as the vessel normally uses two steering motors during maneuvering. But motor number two won't start. The chief officer knows that the on-signing crew have brought spare parts for steering motor number one. He therefore calls the engine room to ask what's going on. The engine crew reply that they need longer time than expected to repair the pump for steering motor number two. This fact, that also steering motor number two is out of order, 
is totally new to the chief officer. Surprised by this new information, and even concerned about the situation, he forgets to pass the message on to his captain. The traffic control of Singapore calls them and informs them that the vessel is south of her traffic lane. The master orders a new heading. When the helmsman informs the chief officer that the rudder is responding very slowly, he's told to keep quiet and stick to his job. Meanwhile, the traffic control of Singapore calls the vessel again. The master orders full speed ahead. The chief officer sets the position in chart and informs the master that they're now very close to the Bata Bahanti boy. The master is now glued to the radar and doesn't respond to his colleague. One minute later, a strange movement is observed. The vessel has run aground and stops completely. <laughs> 